It was similar. It's like, it's like worrying about your the success of your future. Make today successful, and then do it again tomorrow, and then the next day, and then all yeah. those days will combine to make like your totally. Future. Like I, I feel like sometimes One day we get nervous about the vlogs being like, oh, they're repetitive. We do like you know, we kind of are doing a lot of the same over and over again. But that's like what you need that consistency and like a routine of healthy habits yeah. over and over and over again to create like what you want. So, sorry if, uh, you know, it gets boring, but yeah. you know, this is what it takes. This is the grind. Why do we match? We're it's like, so like weird. Gray, white, and beige. Beige, white, and gray shoes, and you're wearing a beige shirt, gray, gray shorts, shorts, and, and white, white shoes. shoes. How weird is that? Um, That's bizarre. Anywho. Anywho. We're pulling into the F45. Pulling that four to five. I think it's an endurance day. These are actually my least favorite. They're so hard. This one's hard. called quarterbacks. People are coming out of the woodworks today. Yeah, it was lots of people. I don't know. Does that mean that this is like a, a good one? All right, let's head in. All right, y'all. We've got this. We've got this. Workout equals happiness equals endorphins. You gotta be happy. You gotta work out. Never wanna act like I know it all, but I know when a woman is worth showing off. If I'm being superficial, then show me the door. But if I'm super official, then you looking for more. I never beat around to push your waste time like life short, you should spend it in the limelight. With a little touch here and a brush there. They saying love or water, nothing's really unfair. I guess we'll ride that out. Now y'all starters need to find your route. And I'ma find out how. All I have is my love and my word. Hoping you ain't too cool and you curb. Cause I know they want it all. Whoa. Trying to make it happen Just so happy she attractive How far you gonna fall? Ooh, oh, oh. Before you're on the mattress Are you really about the action? Cause I'm really about your accent Shorty want it all Ooh, oh, oh. Trying to make it happen Just so happy she attractive Life changing 
Key. Key. So you know, like this cold, cold. So I'm trying to look like a tomato right now. Alrighty, just went together a little breakfast after our workout. Basically took one of those uh, tuna cakes and I made mine with two eggs around it and like kind of like cooked it in a little frying pan. Kind of like a little quiche or whatever you call them. I think and it's the next level. avocado. Yeah. This is Julia's hers cracked when I was moving it over, but it kind of makes like a little little scramble in a way. Although, Look at this cute outfit. Ooh, it's you are cute. Right? cute it's like my summer go-to, like for working out, biker shorts and sports bras. It's the best. Mm. Oh, that Give me like half of that. Half of this? Yeah. I was thinking like this. Okay. Like I did like a third and you do two thirds. Perfect. That's good. Here, I'm gonna hit everything but the bagel. And I already added salt to the actual thing itself. But I will add a little pepper on top of the avo. I'm telling you y'all. Tuna cakes. These tuna cakes, they're key. They're like so... Well, they're like... They're so nice to have because can make them with like a, a lunch veggie plate, veggie tray, veggie plate. We you can make them. Salads. We made them with salads. I made a, 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 I made a little like tortilla taco and wrapped it up and dipped it in salsa. Yes. Bomb, bomb diggity. Bomb ass. Bomb ass. Bomb ass. Um, oh. And now we're making them with like eggs. It's like really divine. Really it's cute. Divine. Really cute. It's super cute. Like look how cute. Hey, hey cutie, you're cute. Okay, right. we're gonna eat food. We're gonna eat. Mm. Wow. This might be my favorite combo so far. Great breakfast item. You give me shit for it. I know. I give you shit for everything. You can never just let me. No. What's fat is that that's your quote. Just let me. <laughs> but in reality, it should be mine. What is marriage? Love is love. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is like divine. Mm -hmm. This is bed and breakfast material. This is. This is like fantastic. Is Wait, like... this is Whole30. Mm -hmm. If you're on the Whole30, oh man, you have to have this. Mm -mm -mm. This is the ghee butter. It's an egg, mm -hmm. avocado, and a Whole30 tuna cake. Yeah. Mm. On top of some red brown rice. Ooh. A little like afternoon snack. Yeah. It's like a chic little meal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're here too much. <laughs> we just went off about that tuna cake for like 20 minutes. <laughs> we're so weird. What we're saying. <laughs> what we're, all we were saying is that it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> tuna cake cute. Tuna cake cute. Okay. Tired. We'll see you in a little bit. Mm -hmm, bye. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. It's like a... So good, it makes you wanna... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're so annoying. <laughs> and now we are gonna go out for our walk. So we just got ready, put it on our tops and everything, and we're gonna head out. We need to change the camera. I've been practicing my juggling skills lately. Just <laughs> hand-eye coordination. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm an athlete, I really have to focus on my... <laughs> Agility. Hand-eye coordination. All right. All right, let's do our walk. Goosey's up there. Um, we've actually gotten a lot of questions since our walks about how we've trained Noah off leash. We don't really have an answer for that. Well, I mean, um, the answer is that we started, we trained him a lot for the first year of his life. Like, we spent, yeah, like, every day with him, like, like an hour or so, especially when he was a puppy. But as, like, the very first year of his life, as a young puppy, we walked them off leash everywhere. Like we never had, Yeah, we never, we never did like leash. leash walks. We're just very relaxed dog owners. We're not like hovering helicopter 
dog parents at all so we always were just like go for it and we would let him run into groups of people as a puppy and, and well, like, people would pet him and yeah. are you gonna start at a young age or train them like truly train them you can't just like yeah if your dog is one that you fear running off then like yeah probably don't let them off leash they'll run away and i'd say if they're like two or three or four or five years old like you can't just all of a sudden expect them to do that you either have to hire a trainer or work with them a lot i mean obviously we don't walk him in areas where there's like busy roads we find trails that have a lot of open space so that you know the thing is like, if he sees a rabbit or a squirrel he'll definitely take off after it definitely uh, but but not like, really a but people. he'll come back and so yeah he'll always come back but our th our we never walk him by a busy road because if a rabbit ran across the street like he would chase it totally so so you just i would find somewhere quiet and start practicing if you really want to but you just that's how you, you got to rip the band-aid off and you just got to do it i guess but our answer is that we've just done it since day one as a puppy and yeah he's used to it now that is so nice oh that's the perfect depth isn't it goosey <laughs> it's not too deep because you get scared. Come back on this side. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're so beautiful. I love you. Good boy. Good job. We love you. Okay, we're back from our walk and now we're doing a little yard maintenance. The non fun stuff. Getting new grass this week. We're gonna try and get new grass this week because our grass is dead, but we're moving some plants. How far you oh. gonna fall before you're on a mattress? Are you really about the action? Because I'm really about your ass. Garden updates. Oh, I hope we get some flowers this week. And our lambs here is thriving. You see this trail in rosemary? It looks dead, but it's supposed to be like that. It, it's, oh, it starts to droop it over. To droop yeah. And these little like, buds will come out. So cute. This needs to go. That is a doorknob. Okay, oh, let's leave this to focus. It's snack hour in the Haven's house. Goosey, that's not for you. That's not your snack. That's our snack. Sorry, Goosey, that's my But you want boy. Oh, I'll give it to him. He wants one. Okay. I wanted to pull up the camera because I have two sauces here. I have La Casitas and Jamie's Spanish Village. Okay, so this one's from Central Market. That one's from this Central Market. One. They have this at Central Market, but this one was from Kroger. Kro Kroger. Okay. So, I'm really into my sauces lately. I, I Every time I go to the grocery store, I'll just buy a new random salsa. Okay. And I like to kind of rank them against each other. Okay. I want well, your thoughts. Those okay. are me. This one's hot red salsa. Spanish Villa is kind of, I'm tasting it, it's kind of sweet. Not sweet, but like, but don't you taste more it's not as salty. And it's hot. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like it's jalapeno a, sweet. It's like a delayed Maybe. kind it's of. It's called hot red, so it's almost like the red bell pepper. Exactly. Tastes. That's the sweetness, probably. Mm. That's more flavory. It's like roasted or something. I think I prefer this. I think this is more of a, not as rich in flavor. But it's got some zings. More mellow. I mean, almost like the combo of the two would be perfect. I know. It's kind of nice with the salty chip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you see what I mean? And that one's like too punchy. I would say I don't love either of them. That's my personal preference. Because what do you think? It's too bad because you can't hold any chips, so you can't taste them. Do you know what's so funny is that even after your remodel of your office, you still work at the kitchen table. You don't work in your office. I do. I do look most of this. You did the other day, I guess. Oh, this is my second day this week to work in here. Is it because the glare? In there? Yeah. Was it because? You just don't want to move the lacy. We were sitting here. You and I were sitting here talking, my computer was out here. Mm -hmm. And I plugged into the charger. Instead of unplugging the charger and my laptop to go back in there, I just went in there and grabbed the lazy. Mm -hmm. And then now, I left it there overnight. It's the same thing, the whole setup is over there. Got two laces plugged in. 
converter. Mm -hmm. I get it. Headphones, charger, slot. You are super, super cute. Okay, so it's a little bit later and a lot of you guys ask what we do with all of our decor that we you know have had in the house and stuff and uh we've been storing it all in our garage but hunter's sister and her husband are actually moving into the neighborhood so they are here right now with their u-haul and we are giving like a ton of our old stuff to them so helping them pack it up right now all right they are just packing up their u-haul let's see can you even see the lighting There's the U-Haul, okay. And, sorry, that was a little hectic. We um, just emptied out a ton of stuff in the garage. So, this was, well, it still is really full, but we have a lot of stuff in there. So, this whole bottom row was full of rugs and we gave them literally every single rug. So, that's perfect because they can use that in their house. And it's just a great use of furniture. That's why we always save our stuff because you know, somebody in the family could always use it or somebody. So Hunter and I honestly, like we love um, like basically like collecting things. So if um, our goal would be to have like a warehouse or like a storage place where we could like collect antiques and like literally collect all of our home stuff because you know, when you're really into like decor and design, you kind of like are always finding things and you just like have to have it. And then, you know, it'll fit in, a right space eventually you just gotta hold on to it i was actually just kind of cleaning out the fridge and we had this kit still left over from costco it's the thai coconut skillet kit and it's like a curry kit we haven't made it yet though so i was like you know what it'd be perfect i'll just throw it on the stove it looks really bad but like here it is it's just vegetables and you like cook them put curry sauce on and it all comes in the kit and then i added some chicken and I'm just doing a little microwavable pouch of rice right now, which is done right now. Also from Costco. I love microwavable hot basmati rice. And I'm going to just serve that up. Okay. Literally. You see? Putting the rice on the bottom. I always forget to break it up before I cook it. You're supposed to do that. curry stuff on top a little curry veggie bowl a little sea salt on top it's a really fast easy meal let's see here mm, it's good Oh, it's both. Mm. I like it though. I feel like curry. We're not like huge curry people, but it's a nice change up from what we normally eat. Yum. Okay. Success. All right, y'all. We're finding a movie to watch on Netflix, Amazon. Not have much luck. You know how it is when you get on Netflix and you start looking for stuff. You can never find Worse. it. It's hard, but. We just want to say goodnight. We love you guys. Love you. See ya. On the flip side. I could see it from the stairs, standing right here. You still to show without trying, that shit is quite rare. Forget the opinions and shit you might hear. Know my position ain't tripping it all despite theirs. In due time, it'll happen. Just make sure you got your seatbelt fastened. Oh, yeah. It's clear what other people intend to. What I got, these other people only pretend to. Yeah. Cause we gon' put.